every 32,000 miles, they recommend to change your cabin air filters. Now, this is something the dealer might charge anywhere between $30 and $70 to do. We're going to do it right now uh, for less than 20 bucks, and it's going to take us maybe five minutes. There is a clip. I'm just kind of holding this thing in place. We're going to try not to break it, um, but to go ahead, there we go, um, and pop this out. So that's one side. Let's go ahead and do the other. Okay. So as you can see, there's spots here, 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 and here that hold this in. Um, in the meanwhile, the only thing that's going to hold it is this cord. Um, so we're just going to let it gently dangle here. Um, the actual air uh, cabin filter is back here. I'm going to grab a light and we're going to pull that out. Okay, as I'm sure you can see now, that's where the uh, that's where the cabin filter is back here. So we're going to take a minute. So basically, this is held on by a little clip um, here on the side. You just kind of press that clip and it releases it one on each side so now that we've got it open we're going to pull out the filter as you can see that's actually pretty nasty um, normally I, I never really understood why they I just thought it was another way the dealer you know schemes to make money off you but and that still may be true but it's that's pretty nasty. The replacement I'm rocking is just your typical STP from AutoZone, uh, CAF1864P. Uh, nothing fancy. Pull this out of the box. As you can see, there's a world of difference between the two. So um, we're going to take a minute and swap them out. Uh, and in case you get turned around, this does indicate the airflow. So, even though the letters are printed upside down, we've got the correct position of the arrows. So, go ahead and snap that cover right back on there. Okay, back on. We're gonna set this nasty one over here for the moment. We're gonna go ahead and get our uh, clip box back in there. Okay, as simple as that. Clip box is back on. Still opens and closes the way that it's supposed to. So, it's as simple as that, friends. So that's what I've been up to. Right, right there. So, I've been busy, uh, like I said, with the wood. In the meantime, somewhere in there I managed to put about seven stitches into my leg with a chainsaw. We'll talk a little bit more about chainsaw safety here. And, Maybe an upcoming video. Um, that's not a situation you want to find yourself in. You get complacent, you get careless, uh, and you do stupid crap. So, safety is number one. Thanks for watching the video. If you haven't yet, please consider subscribing to the channel. Um, every little number, every little bit helps. Um, I'm a guy just like you, trying to figure out how to do things on my own to save a buck or two, and to have some pride in my vehicle. So. Again, thanks for watching. Venom Rebel 2020. Out.